State investigators report safety concerns tonight at the same swimming pool where a toddler drowned 24 hours ago. Good evening. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. The concerns range from a broken fence to the pool's gate that will not latch shut. The pool in question located at Spanish Rock Apartments off Markham Mesa Drive in Little Rock. And that's where Fox 16 investigates Mitch McCoy is live tonight. What else are you learning, Mitch? Well, Kevin and Donna, good evening. The Department of Health was at this pool for about an hour this morning. Obviously, the thing that they left behind is this big red sign. It says that this swimming pool is temporarily closed until further notice. This is the report that we got from the Department of Health that lists numerous violations. I want to go through some of those violations right now. Some of those violations include safety concerns. Inspectors report the gate closest to the office door does not self latch self latch observed broken at the time of inspection gate is chained closed the inspector also says multiple portions of lower fencing was observed damaged state officials also say no emergency phone observed during time of inspection Little Rock police say the three-year-old boy somehow got out of the mother's apartment Tuesday evening and into the pool. Witnesses tried to perform CPR, but the boy died at the hospital. We reached out to Spanish Rock's parent company for a comment on today's state inspection report, but have not heard back. They did, however, release a statement yesterday evening. That says in part, quote, we don't have all the details, but somehow the child was able to make it over the fence and into the pool after hours. While there's still a lot of questions out here tonight, there is obviously this report that we have some of the answers to, and of course this red sign that says the pool is closed. We, we want to reiterate that we don't know how that child ended up inside of the pool. And last night, Donna, if you recall, there were several parts in our story where we were able to actually look at some of this fence that was damaged, and even this front entrance is damaged a little bit. So obviously a lot of work to be done before this pool can open. It's also worth noting that this pool was shut down on Sunday by the apartment complex management staff, according to this, this inspection report. It is unclear at this point why the apartment complex decided to close their pool on Sunday. We are live in Little Rock. Mitch McCoy, Fox 16 Investigates. Well, you know what? Just like we were talking last night, this is just a sad story all around. It's, it's heartbreaking. I'm wondering, though, about this state inspection that you're referring to. In terms of state law, could there be any consequences that this apartment complex will, will face? Yeah, according to state law, any kind of violation uh, could result in a fine. So that between fifty uh, and five hundred dollars. So, and obviously that's all up to the Department of Health and state officials. But, but ultimately, you know, the the maybe a consequence in itself is the fact that you know the pool is now closed for numerous safety violations, and and that has got to have some residents upset. But you can only imagine, you know, their disbelief when when they're seeing an inspection report like this and they're seeing numerous violations it's also worth noting that in the inspection report back in May when when the State Department of Health came out here to check the pool to say okay everything's good you can open it there were no major safety violations so somehow in the last couple of months the fence started really breaking apart not just at this section here but across the pool as well very interesting, and as you just said there, between 50 and $500 could be how much they would have to pay. All right, Mitch McCoy, I know you're going to continue following this story. Thank you.